Hey everybody, welcome back to Z3 Programming. Today, we're going to be going over exception handling. Exceptions happen when a problem occurs within your program, and depending on the reason, the program cannot continue as expected, and the exception can crash your, your application. So, we're going to go over how we're, we can handle those exceptions, okay? Let's get to it. We're going to start a new project. We're going to or we're going to call this console app exception handling okay handling these exceptions in your program allow the user to understand what went wrong and how you can potentially fix the issue and how the program can continue through execution and not just crash <laughs> because crashing a pro I'm going to show you what it looks like when your program crashes and what it looks like when you handle that, those exceptions. So we're going to go over some exceptions, exception handling, and I'm going to also going to show you how you can throw exceptions. In C sharp, there's a base exception class that handles exceptions as well as more specific exception classes as well. So in your program, you can handle these exceptions by using the try and catch and option finally statement you can do this by surrounding your code with the try statement and after the try statement executes if there is an exception the catch statement will handle that exception and your program will not crash and of course the finally statement will always execute after the try and catch first I'm going to show you an example of what it looks like when your program crashes in and an exception is not handled so I'm going to type to the console line. I'm going to type, please enter your age. Then I'm going to create an integer variable named age. I'm going to do int, int32.parse. And then I'm going to type console.readline. So that can take in the variable then I will type in you are age years old okay so I will go ahead and run this program real quick please enter your age I'll type 100 you are 100 years old that worked correctly. Now I'm going to show you what happens when an exception is unhandled. I will type in YOLO. Please enter your age, YOLO. System format exception. Input string was not in the correct format. So you can see the program crashed. An exception was unhandled. Now we're going to rearrange this code so this does not happen. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to surround this with the try and catch statement. I'm going to go to snippet, surround with, this is just a shortcut, the try tab tab. Now you can see the try statement. Our code is surrounded by the try statement. We have a catch statement. This is our exception that it will catch. We will name this exception EX. Now, I will write out the exception details to the console. So, I will do error, I'll type error message. type ex dot message message is a is a very useful property that is within the exception class and it will give us details of the specific error that occurred so I want to print that out and I'm also going to do the same I'm also going to print out another property to the console Oops. and it's called the stack trace so I'm going to print out the stack trace. So 
stack trace. And the stack trace just basically tells you what line the specific error occurred. So that's helpful information if you're trying to debug it and trying to figure out where it is and how it happened. So now you can see we entered in the try catch statement. We'll see what will happen now. Please enter your age. I will type 100. You are 100 years old. It worked correctly. Okay. Please enter your age. I will type yellow. As you can see, the application did not crash this time. It shows an error message. It says input string was not in a correct format. And it also shows you your stack trace information. And it lets you know what line number the error occurred. So you can see here the error occurred on line 19. If we come over here, you can see line 19 is where the error occurred because we typed in yellow and yellow is a string. It is not an integer. So that's how you do the try catch. Also, as you can see, this is the base exception class. There are also more specific exception classes. So, and I like to show you guys that for example, there is an IO exception class that handles input output exceptions. There's an index out of range exception that will handle whenever you try to reference an array index that does not exist. Or there is a divide by zero exception that occurs when you try to divide something by zero. Now I'm going to show you guys an example of let's do the index out of range exception and I'll show you what that looks like and how you can prevent that. So now I'm going to create a string array. I'm going to call this Disney child actors. And I will put Lindsay Lohan in there. I will put Orlando Brown. And I will put Miley Cyrus. That should be good. Okay. So, say for instance, I want to print out the third person within the array. So, normally I would do console.write line. I do Disney child actors. And I would put two because arrays are zero based indexes zero, one, two. So I want to print out Miley Cyrus. I put two. So I'm going to print that out to the console. It's going to say Miley Cyrus. The index out of range exception. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to print out the, the third index, but there is no third index within this array. So I'm going to run this. And the program crash exception unhandled system index out of range ex exception index was outside the bounds of the array so now I'm going to put this information surround it with the try catch statement so this doesn't happen highlight this snippet surround with try I'm gonna change this to index out of range exception ex the console write line ex message now we're going to try to print this out oh actually before i do that i want to use the finally statement because we did not use that earlier this will execute no matter what if an error or an exception is caught or not Whatever is within the finally block will run. So I'm going to write out to the line. I'm going to say the Disney child actors array has Disney child actors length. People listed 
within it. So this is just going to print out how many people are listed within the array. That will print if there's an exception caught or not. So now I'm going to run it. Here you can see it printed out the exception message. Index was out of bounds of the array. And then it also prints from the finally statement. And it says the Disney child actors array has three people listed within it. Very simple. So we've gone through two examples of exception handling and how you can utilize your try, catch, and finally statements. Now I'm going to go over how to throw an exception. So I will show you guys an example of that. I will get rid of some of this code that's in the way. Throwing exceptions. So I'm going to delete this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a, a public class. And I'm going to call this student. Okay, and then I'm going to create a static exception variable. We're going to create our own exception. And we're going to call this not valid name. And then you're going to equal that to a new exception. And then I'm going to enter, please enter a name with more than two characters. Now I'm going to create a property for the student. I'm going to create property. We're going to call this string name. Then I will create a constructor public student then I will put string name now I'm going to create an if else statement I will do if name dot length is less than or equal to two I'm going to throw the not valid name exception Okay, this will all make sense soon. I'll do else name equals name. So basically, what that means is whenever we set this this student this student constructor, whenever we enter a name, if the length of that name is less than or equal to two characters, we're gonna throw this new exception that we created. If it isn't we're going to set that name to the name property that we have for the class student. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come into the static void main and I will enter in a try catch block. I will create a new student, do student. Then I'll call that student student, that variable. And I will name this student Bobby. We will write to the console and we will say student dot name to string. And that will print this student's name to the console. In the catch statement, we're going to do EX, name that exception EX. Then we're going to write to the console ex message. Then we're going to write ex stack trace. Okay, so we created a new student, Bobby. Then we're going to write it to the console, his name. If an exception is caught, we're going to read, we're going to write the message in the stack trace to the console. Let's see what happens. I'm going to run this and it prints Bobby's name an exception was not thrown because Bobby that name that length is greater than or equal to is greater than two so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change this student's name to Bo now we will see what will happen 
Please enter a name with more than two characters. We have an except stack trace finds the error at line 20 and line 34. Line 20, you can see the name dot length was less than or equal to two. It threw the not valid name exception. Line 34, it tried to create that student and it, it didn't take their name because it threw the exception. That's it for exception handling and throwing exceptions. If this video was helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys next time.